You ready for this? Yes. yes. <laughs> How's it been going with all the craziness in the world? Good, actually. Yeah? Surprisingly enough. Yeah. Really, really well. Yeah, that's good. So have you grown up in the Coachella Valley all your life? No, I actually grew up in San Jacinto. It's like an hour from here. Okay. Like the Hemet area? Type yeah. Of, okay. So I you, moved here when I was 13. 13. So you're still a SoCal girl? Yes. Yeah. Cool. Growing up, what was your relationship with God like? Um, I went to Christian school from kindergarten to fifth grade, and I've gone to different churches throughout my life. So I've always had a pretty good relationship with God. What about the worship team and being on the worship team brings something out of you that you haven't experienced before? I feel like I'm truly able to serve in a way that's different than ever before. I feel like God is able to work through me, through my gifts, and it's not about me or my ego anymore. It's about how I can speak to others, how He can speak through me to others and touch them in a different way. I've had some really powerful experiences where I just felt His presence more than I've ever felt it before. So we're in this series called Rebuilding the Broken. Have there been many times in your life that you felt like you're just in this broken place? Yeah, there have been quite a few times growing up as the child of an addict. There were a lot of really scary things that I had to go through. Right before I came to this church, I had experienced a really great loss and I didn't handle it in the best way possible. Coming to this church, I felt really accepted and part of something bigger than myself, part of a family, and it helped me get through what I was suffering through. I had just felt like I was stuck and like there was nothing I could do and that there was no way out. And I was able to have people pray with me and the community here just made a huge impact on how I was able to deal with what was going on and everything is a lot better now. <laughs> Even though everything is happening kind of crazy in the world, I feel like I have more joy and more security and more love around me than I ever did before. I'm going to read a verse to you here. It's in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 4 and 5. It says, For He chose us in Him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in His sight. In love He predestined us for adoption to sonship through Jesus Christ in accordance with His pleasure and will. I love what that verse says about God adopting us into His family. He's chosen us. What does it mean for you to be adopted into God's family? I feel like I'm adopted into God's family and I have a purpose now to use the gifts that He's given me to reach people and to make a difference and to bring other people closer to God. I feel like I have a purpose that's higher than my own ego, something that's not for myself, it's for others. It's a job that, I, that, I, that I've been blessed with to be able to bless others. When you feel that you have that purpose that God's given you, how does that help you in, in brokenness in your life? Does it make it easier? Yeah, it, it, when I'm going through something that's really traumatic, it makes me just want to stay at home and be by myself and kind of become uh, a hermit. But I've had this duty to serve here. So even when I'm going through something and I want to cancel or I want to quit or I don't want to show up, I feel like I have this higher purpose to show up. And every time I do, I feel so much better. How has knowing that you've been adopted into God's family helped you deal with that brokenness that you felt at times in your life? I felt like I was always searching for some sort of community or place where I belonged. And now that I'm here, I feel like I belong somewhere more than I ever have. I feel like I have people to go to, I have people to pray with me, and there's always someone to support me and lift me up when I need it. <laughs>